Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. On Wednesday afternoon, the Mets celebrated the 50th anniversary of their first ever game and then celebrated the 62 Mets by getting shut out <laughs> by the Washington Nationals 4 to nothing. It started out as a tremendous pitcher's duel between Johan Santana and Steven Strasburg, and Strasburg got the better of it. Yeah, Strasburg was a little better today, went uh, through six innings, threw over 100 pitches for the first time in his career. Johan Santana was great through five, tried to go out there for the sixth, walked his first batter, and then was taken out of the ball game. The Mets still have not scored a run while he's been out there. It was. I mean, I, I, um, it was a tough challenge out there, but, uh, uh, you know, it was good to see that I was able to go beyond 90 pitches and be able to, you know, to, uh, to go out there without any problems. And uh, unfortunately, you know, we uh, didn't win. But, uh, you know, uh, as far as how I'm, I'm doing, I think I'm making progress and feeling better, and that's, that's a good thing. But it was a tough day for Mets pitching today. Despite only four runs on the board, they walked 10, they struck out 10, and the Mets offense today, really nothing to show for. Three hits in the ball game, and they struck out 15 times. So I know that, you know, I was glad to see Ike get a, get a hit today, but, you know, we, we and they know that's their jobs in, in the middle, and... We just got to start swinging better. You know, uh, I just trying to do my job. You know, I think uh, to me it is important to to know exactly how I feel and what I'm doing. I'm pretty sure, you know, we'll put things together and and they'll start swinging the bat and and, and scoring runs. I mean, that's that's part of the game. You know, we just got to continue playing and swinging, and uh, and at some point we'll start scoring runs. But but at the same time, I cannot go away from what I have to do, which is pitching and, and trying to, to give a team a chance to win. And uh, some questionable calls along the way <laughs> caused Terry Collins to get ejected for the first time this season by home plate umpire Larry Vanover in the seventh inning. And the Nationals take two out of three in this series, and the Mets finish up their first homestand four and two. Jason Bay never, never says a word. And when so when he's arguing something, there's an issue. And obviously I saw the replay. I mean, I went out up and saw it. But, you know, I'm not going to get all caught up in but when, when you're trying, you know, that was a point in the game where guys she gets, a, you know, something to handle and maybe changes the whole dynamics of the rest of the game. Yeah, they were looking for something better after sweeping the Atlanta Braves, but 4-2 and two is a good start. That's how they wanted the start, but more importantly, uh, hoping that when they have the day off tomorrow, David Wright can get rested and better and be in that lineup for Friday night. Definitely, definitely hurts. Uh, no question about it, but I think we got the right group in here to uh, to overcome that. And uh, as as a unit, we have to. You know, you, you can't look back and say, oh well, well only if we had David or only if this. No, no, you, we got to get the job done. So the Mets will begin their first road trip of the year on Friday night in Philadelphia. They'll be facing Cliff Lee. They'll have Ari Dickey on the mound. 6:30 the coverage for Pepsi Max pregame live on SNY. That'll do it for WB Mason postgame extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.